Prayer has two ends. One end is in the person who prays, and the other end is in the thing or person prayed for. Oftentimes, the first end needs to undergo transformation before the other end can be changed. It is futile to just hope for the other end to change. We must learn to pray. O Lord, where do I need to be changed? Is there yet sin that has not been dealt with? Is there any selfish desire which needs to be purified? Is there any practical lesson of faith that I must learn? Or is there anything that I need to forsake? If there is need on our side for change, then let it be changed first. Too many of God's children hope the prayed-for end may be realized, while they themselves refuse to be changed.